There are many very useful string methods in Python. And let's take a look at a list of the most commonly used ones. And the first one on the list is replace, which replaces the old with new characters up to count times. And the count parameter is optional. But if you had it set to two, it would only replace the first two characters of, that it matched with old with the new characters that you provided. There's also a find method, which finds X starting at the start all the way up to the end position specified where the start and end positions are optional. There's R find, which is the reverse version of find. There's count, and the count method returns a number of occurrences of X. Is AL num returns true if all characters are numbers or letters only. Is digit returns true if all characters are numbers. Is lower returns true if all characters are lowercase. Is upper returns true if all characters are uppercase? Is space returns true if all characters are white space? There's also starts with X and ends with X, which returns true if the string starts or ends with X. The capitalized method returns a copy of the string with the first character capitalized and the rest lowercase. This is useful if you wanted to capitalize somebody's name that just happens to be an all lowercase. And you wanted to capitalize just the first letter. There's a lower method, which returns a copy of the string with all lowercase letters, and an upper method, which returns a copy of the string with all uppercase letters. There's also a strip method, which returns a copy of the string with leading and trailing white spaces removed. And there's also a title method, which returns a copy of the string as a title with the first letters of the words capitalized. And the reason that these last few methods return a copy of the string is because strings are immutable in Python, meaning methods don't actually change the values of the strings, but instead they return a new version of it based on the method that you're calling, such as like upper. It'll return an all uppercase version of that string and leaving the original string intact and unchanged. So let's try out a few examples of these useful string methods in Python. All right, so we're in PyCharm and we have one variable called name, which is a string set to Kanye West, and we're printing the name. And we run the program, you see that it just prints out Kanye West. Let's try a few of these useful string methods. We'll do print name dot upper. And if we run the program, it prints out the original version, then the uppercase version. You know, let's capitalize just a random letter in Kanye West, capitalize that N. So this has no effect on it, but if we print name.lower, it'll remove that capital N that's in the middle. So there's the all lowercase version, just to show you, show you that it works. If there happen to be a bunch of spaces before Kanye, you'll notice that it'll print them all out in all three print statements. But the strip method, let's try it on the upper version, We'll remove all the spaces before and after the name Kanye West. And you can see that they're gone for that second print statement where it prints it in uppercase. You can print name that is al num, which will return true if all the characters are numbers or letters only, but there's a blank space. So this should give you false. If we remove the blank space, then ran it, we get true. You can even add some numbers in there. And we still get true because all characters are numbers or letters only. Let's change it back. And then we get false again. We could check if the name starts with a specific character. Print name that starts with K. Is that true? It's true, it does start with K. Does it start with T? False. So that's the starts with method. There's also an ends with method. We know it ends with T, so that should give us true. But if it does it end with E? False. It doesn't have to just check for a single character. We could just see if it ends with West. And that gives you true also. So it matches all the characters that it ends with. Does it match does it end with capital West? False, because Python is a case sensitive programming language. So capital West and lowercase West are actually different. 
let's try a count. Print name dot count. Let's count the number of E's. It looks like there's two letter E's in there, so this should give us the number two. There we go. There's a two. Let's try the replace method. Print name dot replace all the E's with O's. Should be interesting. So now we got Kanyo lost. And let's just try one more. We do print name. And notice that after you type the dot in PyCharm, it gives you a list of all available options that you can, all the available methods that you can call on the string. There's tons of them. A lot, some we didn't even go over yet. Let's try this capitalize one. Let's just click it. And that should capitalize the first letter in, in Kanye's name. So there's the capital K in Kanye. So there's a lot of different string methods. I definitely recommend you guys try a lot of them out and get familiar with them because they're already built into the Python library. They're simple to use as you've seen here and be very useful in your program in one way or another. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.